Welcome back to Car Throttle, where we're road tripping our 500 pound modified cars 500 miles around the bottom of the UK. Today, we'll crash a Focus, fix a radiator, visit Land's End, look at a mangled mess. It's just a big mangled mess now, isn't it? And go to the most southern point of the UK. But before all of that, you join us at Noon Gallus Campsite, where we've just spent the night. Good sleep? No. Oh, God. At least I'm not in a sack, so. What do you want? Good morning. Good morning. Good sleep? Yeah. Yeah, it's really good. Can you imagine how good it was sleeping in a sack, so? <laughs> mattress has a good 30 to 40 degree angle on it. Well, everyone else has got to sleep that end <laughs> because else all the blood's going to pull in the back of their head and they're going to die. But my seats don't. So I had to create this sort of like weird weird sort of shape like sort of like ski ramp sort of thing after waking up and tending to our morning routine we got right back to messing with each other where is it it just doesn't smell down here i'm just going to start tearing this car apart oh for f sake. <sighs> have you just put them in my car mm, it's hard to say isn't it really yeah. Probably. Hey. Yeah. What's this? Can you give me a hand? Is this yours? I picked it up again, and then I put it in my trailer again. And Dawn's curtains are in there as well. That would have been really useful for you. Alex is in the shower at the minute. <laughs> Big mistake. Oh. I'm just going to put it in the exact same place, he couldn't find it. That'll do. I've just reviewed the footage uh, on the camera of where he put that air freshener, so I'm just going to grab it and chuck it back in his car. With Alex blissfully unaware that his car was now restocked with air fresheners, we decided to settle who would pay for breakfast. Naturally, with the world's shortest and slowest drag race. Boys, we said at the end of our Scotland trip that we would take these cars to a racetrack. I think we've got the perfect one here, right? I think this is looking pretty lively. Time to switch the rally lights on. Three. Oh, two, one, go. Oh, I've got my up. Come on. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> I had my car off when you were counting down. And I was not ready. You're buying. I'm buying. Due to the fact that neither Jack or I were even ready for the drag race, we decided to have a rematch. A rematch that I especially would end up wishing we didn't ask for. Come on. Come on, focus. Three, two, one, go. Yes. No. No. Yes! <laughs> I may have crashed. Yeah. What has he done? What are you doing? Crashed. Why? What have you done? Oh, I binned it. Did you hit something? Uh, well, I don't know. Oh no. Oh no. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ethan. Oh yeah. I fear you may have punctured your radiator. Uh oh. Yeah. Does that look like coolant? Oh no. Oh no. Oh, oh you've done it. Oh no. oh no, you've done it. Oh no, is this supposed to be at that angle? These fans? I no. think so. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, Ethan. Oh no. You've done a right number on your radiator. Uh -oh. It's folded in half. It <laughs> has, that's not good. We buff out. How do you manage that? So that was hiding. Yeah, but it wasn't supposed to be driven into. That's what your car hit. No, not what your car hit, what you hit. What? Oh, jeez. Oh, dear. What have I done? What have you done? Now you need to sort this out. Well, you've sort of ruined your trip, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Shotgun knot. Shotgun knot. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh no, that's not gone well. Uh oh. Well done though, I'm proud yeah, of well you. done. Out of everyone, out of us three, I didn't expect you to be the one that crashed, yeah. yeah. And I was so far away from the action as well, I, I can't even You had nothing to do with it. This is unbelievable, I'm who'd have thought man. this? I'm yeah, who'd man. have thought this? Yeah. We'll go to our local Euros. Yeah. See if they've got one. Yeah. You'll, you'll, it'll manage that far, wouldn't it? I don't, just have the heaters on, it'll yeah. be fine. Okay. You have to have heaters on and windows up as well. Just yeah, to make you sure do. it regulates you legit, temperature. You do, you do. And then we'll see if we can change it in the car park, I guess. Yeah. 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 Okay. There you go. Thank you. You've got some clearing up to do as well. Oh, and you've got some antifreeze to, um, drink. to drink. Well, that was super annoying. I made just a small evasive maneuver just to give Jack some room. And then I braked probably as if I would brake on the road. And then it was slight incline, slick grass. Thought I'd just go a bit into this bush. And there happened to be a rock in there. Oh no! Oh Ethan, what have you done? You have inadvertently shortened the lifespan of your poor motor vehicle, a car that you love and you were so proud that it was going to be hitting 100,000 miles soon. And then you crashed. This is going to be a very, very tense drive for Ethan. I know he's, he's hating it, legitimately. He's very stressed at the moment. He's never been in a situation where he's crashed and damaged a radiator. I think on the side of the road he wouldn't know what to do. Uh, and the fact that we're making him drive to Euro car parts, it's just funny, isn't it? <laughs> oh dear. So don't do as Ethan does if you're going to do the SC500. Don't be a plonker. I'm so annoyed with myself. I'm so, so annoyed. I've got to get to Euro car parts quickly and sort this. How are you feeling, Ethan? Stressful? Pretty deflated. Oh, Ethan, it'll be all right. We'll get it fixed up and then we'll crack on. No worries. We've got to get this car to Land's End. Is the temperature still looking happy? It's still in the middle. It's in the middle already? <laughs> it's just started creeping over. Oh, actually, it's just gone up quite a bit. As long as it's not in the red for too long, we should be fine. That's bad. We've been driving for about three minutes. It's going up quite quickly. We're close to the red. Yeah, you're going to have to stop else. We're going to cause an issue that we definitely can't fix. Yeah, I'm right. I'm right at the red. We start, we start. Box, 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 Ethan. Box, box, box. Hello, sorry, sorry. My engine's just, my engine's gone into the red. I need to stop. Yeah, I think maybe just give it two minutes, Ethan, and then we'll just um, try and build up a bit more speed. Oh no. It's quite impressive, isn't it? How quickly that engines get hot without um, coolant running through to cool everything. It was quite funny because you asked how the temperature was doing and it had been in the middle. And then from when you asked that, it just rocketed up to the red. After an incredibly stressful two mile drive into town. It's too stressful. Requiring multiple stops to let the focus cool down. We made it to a petrol station where we could find some help. We've had an absolute stroke of luck here. We managed to make it down to this Tesco petrol station in Penzance. As we pull it in, I saw what looked like a mechanic and I said to Edwin, should we just go and take a punt? So him and Alex went over there and Daz from ATS in Penzance was like, we'll sort you out. So we have an absolute hero that will save us. I really hope he can save this car. I don't want this to be the end of the Focus. Come on, Focus. Come on, Focus. Let's go, let's go. With the focus now in the capable hands of the guys at ATS, Jack and Edwin went off to collect the new radiator, which left only me to defend my poor car from being butchered by my worst colleague. The car is on the ramp. Mike and Daz are looking at it. Hopefully they can perform some corrective surgery and we can get back on the road. This is where you hit the rock. Looks okay. But your sump's happy. Happy wife, happy yeah, sump. Yeah, exactly. I think this car could do with going a bit lower. No, let's... Who's we don't have time. Uh, just... Right, come on. Let's get you a pass this. Before we continue with our epic road trip, we want to thank this week's sponsor, Carly, for making trips like these possible. <laughs> we wouldn't be able to do it without them, so please show them some love. Are you, are you all right there? Yeah. No. Ow! Sorry. Carly is a product that we think that every car enthusiast should have, especially if, like us, you've got a modified car. It helps you save money and take control of your car's health. 
The Carly Universal OBD2 scanner lets you run diagnostics on the health of your car, meaning you can get a potential issue sorted before it becomes a bigger, expensive problem. The app gives you a detailed breakdown of what a potential code could mean and useful tips on how to fix the issue yourself, so you avoid big repair bills. This means that you can spend less money and time taking your car to the garage and more time modifying it. Or put a bed in it. We also take Carly scanners with us to view used cars, to run a quick health and mileage check and make sure we're getting a good deal on a healthy car. For those of you wanting to keep an eye on important information, you can see live data like boost pressure, engine loads and more, as well as clear error codes stored by the car. And for certain cars, you can unlock hidden features that are disabled from factory, such as enabling digital speedometers, different light functions, removing things like automatic stop-start and much more. Carly gives you control over the functionality of your car and helps you to save money in the short and long term by diagnosing issues before they develop further. Hit the link in the description below to grab yourself a scanner. Get out of my car. Get out of my bed. It's so sweaty now. Yeah, it's real Get sweaty. Out. I'll let you go first. Get out. You're so wide. Yes. Shall I get to work? We just take it off at the flange here. Yeah. And then if we just get a straight pipe. New plan. Radiator being fixed. Straight pipe stop breathing. Fix, stop fixing the radiator. <laughs> oh my god. I think I've probably brought this on myself and I now deserve a bit of punishment. There's just three men. Now there's two men at the front fixing the issue. There are three men, there's more at the back, just saying the word straight pipe. Why? I don't, oh my God. Oh my God. We're straight piping Ethan's focus. Why? Because you always modify before you fix. Everyone knows that. Oh, I love it when a plan comes together. That's may never be on stage. Oh! Something's, something's not right, that should never there be There we go. On. Would you like a free exhaust? Right. You boys are on it today, look. And then we'll just cut that, right? Nah, it's unfair if he's got aircon and we don't. By the way, we're also doing an aircon air conditioning delete because it'll be quicker. That's, that's, that's 10 great horsepower. Yeah, we're spending more time on this, by the way. That's the hole you put. Oh, that's well, a hole. We'll Expanding foam. I just really enjoy my aircon, and I've really been bragging about my aircon. It really is calm, isn't it? <laughs> Meanwhile, at Euro Car Parts. He hasn't got any wild cherry in there yet. I'm coming, Ethan! But yeah, it's so much better if I knew where I was going. And back at ATS, the focus was starting to come together. God, bloody hell, you've done this before, haven't you? Uh, no. Oh. Yes. Yeah, should we have a little, a few inches? Yeah, we'll have a little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you want a bit more? Well, I live, I live, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that is beautiful. That is nice. We like that. Ethan's going to be very happy. Ethan, we're finished. Oh, look what we've done for Why you. are you being so selfish? These young, distinguished gentlemen have done this for us. What is that? That's an exhaust. Now the front and the rear match. Why is it so long? Oh, because we, we could have cut here, but then we decided to cut there. And now that's run out of battery. I mean, you can cut it yourself if you'd like to. This might get a bit melty, but um, is that an us problem? No, I don't think it no, is. It's no. not an us problem at all. You're welcome. That looks so good. And I love that the original hole is just there, just doing nothing. That's. It's definitely going to draw some attention. <laughs> so, isn't it? You shouldn't have crashed your car. This is this is all your fault. Oh, oh my God! God. <laughs> we'll give, a all the back. Uh, God give it a few reps. Oh, yes. 
That was good. <laughs> Take some more. Oh, yeah. <laughs> For God's sake. That's great, that. That's nice, that. The focus is fixed. I am so relieved. A huge thank you to the guys from ATS Euromaster. Daz, Mike, Scott, Nathan. Thanks for the exhaust at the back, but uh, God, my heart is, is starting to calm now. Time for McDonald's and then get back on the road. Yeah, massive shout out to the guys. And um, yeah, this is now an unofficial, but now official stop on our SC500 tour. So come here, get some work done. Exhaust work done. No, I'm not <laughs> but yeah, come check these guys out if you need any work doing to your car. Lunch? Lunch. 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 Oh, I am so relieved this car is working again. I cannot thank the guys at ATS Euromaster in Penzance enough because they have kept this trip going. Annoyingly, because of the delay, we've had to cut out one point of our journey. We were going to fly through St. Ives, but we're just going to cut off that section and head back up to rejoin our route. But the first stop is the Levant Mines. I'll admit, I wasn't sure what to expect from the roads down in our SC500, our new route. Because obviously, I'm comparing it to the NC500. Now the views there, up north, they're crazy. But the roads, they're not as nice. You could probably do some damage to a car if you weren't careful on those. But down here, the views, they might not be as great as the NC500. There's still some really pretty parts of this little route that we're doing. But the big difference is all the roads down here, the vast majority of them, really good good condition, you can actually drive them, and there's some good roads down here where you can have a lot of fun on. After our minor detour, we drove down the coast to head towards our next stop, and the entire reason we decided to do this trip, Land's End. We've done it, we have done it. John and Gross inspired us to do this whole trip so we could come to Land's End, and these cars have done the entire length of the country. How do you feel? Well, only just on the entire length of the country because um, we very nearly didn't have you with us, did we? Minor blip, I'll admit, but personally, I'm very relieved that this car is here. It's going to make the reward that much sweeter, you almost not making it. These 500 quid or sub 500 quid cars are effectively scrappers and we have proven yet again that you can take them on an epic road trip. Plus, what's more, you smashed up your um, your radiator. That was a 48 pound part. Like, do that with a new car and you'll be looking at, you know, days in a dealership and hundreds. So again, people, give old cars a second, third, fourth, fifth chance. Right, now let's um, find out how boring Land's End is. to be. We're going to have to go for these. Don't open it now. Don't oh. open it now. <laughs> I'm going to put it over my speedo. <laughs> Found a really good present for Jack. It's symbolic on more than one way. One, it has his name. And two, because it's a truck. That's a good funny, isn't it, Alex? There you there's, go. there's a red one. Is there a red Is one? there? With okay. his name? They sold out. Sales spiked after my incident. <laughs> incident. It was all set up, you know. Yeah. Not very many people, don't tell him. Oh, shit. We'll have to cut that bit. <laughs> people yeah. are going to believe that. People yeah. are 100% going to believe Thank that. Thank you very much to, um, what was her name? Ellie Goulding, was it? Ellie Goulding for um, being in on it. Wink, that wink. did. That was great PR for you as well, yeah. wasn't it? We got you back in the chart, so you're welcome. This is all definitely going in. Yeah, it should do, it should do. People need to know the truth, man. I don't think these will be as strong as an air freshener, though. Well, there you go, boys. We've done it. We are officially now at Land's End. Point to point, John and Groats to Land's End. The cars have made it. Yeah. Just. Just about. They yeah. made it. They, they made, made it. it. Yeah. <laughs> no help from you. <laughs> <laughs> it was a very good feeling to be here. Uh, super proud of the cars. Super proud of us as well. Yeah. What are your thoughts? Relief. <sighs> That's all I can feel. Anyway, shall we carry on? Let's carry we on. don't have a lot of time to spend no, here, do we? No. Let's crack on. Let's crack on.
With John O'Groats to Land's End now conquered in these cars, we'd heard rumours of a local shipwreck walking distance away. So before heading off, we decided to hunt it down. A little disclaimer though, if you're visiting, we really don't recommend going down to this wreck. The path is very dangerous and we don't advise you try it yourself. What do we think? This is crazy. Mad, isn't it? Crazy, crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it almost feels like it's not real. Yeah. Completely surreal. I would love to go exploring, but I don't think that's a very good idea. Still hold. <laughs> it's been there 20 years, it'll be alright. Very true. It's just a big mangled mess now, isn't it? And now a tourist attraction, and one you need to be very, 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 very careful of. Don't try this at home. With the unexpected, incredible shipwreck scene, we got back on the road towards Lizard Point, the most southerly part of mainland Britain. Bit of a weird one just now. I was really wondering why my car was sounding different. It's like, what is that noise? And then I just remembered that you changed the exhaust. So thanks for that. Oh my God, that's amazing. Did you think your car was dying? Yeah, I, I thought something had fallen off. Well, technically something has fallen off and it's just been replaced by a piece of straight pipe. Ethan, does it feel sportier with that exhaust added now? I, I don't know. I think if, if anything, it's just unlocking more potential in me because I've got the noise now. I've got the looks. I mean, I have power anyway. So I'm now the full rally package. Yeah, you've pretty much won, haven't you? You are literally like dominant male now, the alpha male of the group. Yeah, just call me alpha from now on. Alex, your tree's looking a little bit limp. Is it like sport mode? It's um, like a natural spoiler of sorts. Yeah, Alan's just bedded himself in. He's, he realizes that he's in for the long haul. So he's like, okay, right, I might as well have a little rest. I think he needs to sort out because he looks like he's trying to climb out of your trailer. <laughs> I've also noticed the leaves are already turning at the top. Wow, that's amazing. I think Alan's just loving all like the, the carbon dioxide, and, like the massive influx of carbon dioxide that he's getting from my exhaust. It seems like he's trying to get as far away from that gulf as possible. Lizard Point. We made it. Was it the most southerly point in the world? No, no, not the world. Mainland Britain. <laughs> Mainland Britain, okay. You may remember when we did the North Coast 500, we visited Dunnet Head, which is the most northerly point in Mainland Britain. And now we've done the most southerly point. We're just ticking them all off, aren't we? Bang. Yeah. Bang. Is there anything we can't do? I don't know. I don't think so. This focus is here. Yeah. Who would have thought that? At 10 o'clock this morning. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're on the verge of a breakdown, don't you? <laughs> yeah, morning. yeah, I was not in a good way. But more than that, though, who'd have thought Alan is still here? Alan's still here. Definitely Alan is not the Alan. real hero. Yeah, he is. The victim, <laughs> I think. <he> is. <laughs> it's a very nice way to end the day. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to have a little walk around, a little sight, and then uh, head to somewhere else. Falmouth. Or Falmouth. Or Falmouth, as a lot of people call it. So why don't you guys enjoy the view with us and then we'll see you later. We had originally planned for day three, four, and five to be in this second video, but Ethan's radiator escapade took so much of our day that we decided to give day three its own video. So join us next Friday for the final installment of our SC500 trip, where we complete our journey and visit some of the most breathtaking roads yet. Go on, oh yeah, my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I'm rubbing already. Oh, God. <laughs> this is definitely the most scenic part of this route. The fact that they're all still running is pretty incredible. 